Before we plot out the narratives of the Buster clan, we need to get the giggles out of their room first. The reputation of Buster has an alluring history in itself, indisputably so. Buster isn't just a name you bequeath to your dog, or horse, or even to your rabbit, nor is it slang given to complimentary nouns, such as belly buster, filibuster, bronco buster, gang buster, crime buster, trust buster, block buster, and so on. Nor is a nickname attributed to a fellow for either being clumsy or anonymous. Buster is an Americanism. It is as good and stereotyped as apple pie. If Buster were to have its own epigram, it would be nothing more than, Hey Buster, watch where you're going, you nimrod. Rooting as far back as the 1830s, quite possibly as early as the 1820s, Buster has sprouted from its unknown origin and dispersed its seas from Bursley past the Mississippi River, by the way of the railroad, and blooming well into the 20th century in Hollywood. Something akin to the legend of Johnny Appleseed, but without the nobility. The evolution of what was once considered an insult by referring a man as a buster, an incomplete lad who broke things, or simply put, busted things, to raising the standard of calling an average Joe buster can be seen through the stories of newspapers at the end of the Victorian era through the Great Depression. The Dictionary of Americanism, first printed in 1848, referred Buster as anything large in size, a man of great strength, a common vulgarism, which appears to be of foreign origin. But four editions later, by 1877, Buster became a roistering blade, a dashing fellow. The height of the Buster nickname lasted for over a half a century, preceding World War II through the baby boomer generation. With it, there was Buster Brown, Buster Bear, Buster Bunny, Buster John from the short stories Plantation Pageants, a slew of athletes with the first names Buster, and most notoriously, Buster Keaton, the silent film star. Despite that the nickname had never officially died out, in fact it carried well into the 21st century, however the popularity of the name did dwindle under the frostbite of faddish trends. In the gaming world today it has a different meaning, often referring to weapons, perhaps because these weapons would bust things up, under the enterprises such as Mega Man, Final Fantasy VII, and Hot Wheels Battle V. Now, what does this have to do with the Buster family? Was it their surname influencing American culture? Probably, or probably not. But they weren't absent from the scene either. The Busters were, like all things American, pioneers. They began as farmers and slave owners. While being part of the benefits and consequences of Manifest Destiny, they headed out to Texas, California, and Colorado before the consolidation of the Pacific Railroad and shortly after the gold rushes. They fought in all American wars, including several minor ones, and yes, did have brothers and cousins combat on opposite sides of the Civil War. Although once divided, unification prevailed under the reconstruction of the South for those who had stayed in the South. They became entrepreneurs, politicians, bureaucrats, sheriffs, ranchers, teachers, writers, and actors. They were murdered and committed murder. They gambled, embezzled, and served their communities to the best of their abilities. With a timeline expanding three centuries, they undeniably made an impression, whether positively or negatively, or even conjointly, depending on the angle when we look through the prism.